Welcome back, Buff Nation, to The Rundown. I'm your host, Corian Davis. We appreciate you guys tuning into this week's episode. It's already April, which is hard to believe, but we do have a lot of our sports still in full swing. Get it? Baseball, softball, golf. Anyways, before we get into the announcements this week, I want to introduce our special guest. Haley Hiller had the chance to sit down with Men's Golf Wyatt Province. The local talent has been a force on the green all season long, and he's only a freshman. Take a look at this incredible convo with Wyatt and Haley. Well, thank you for joining me. I wanted to start with your Amarillo native. You went to Randall High School. So how has it felt and what has it meant to you to play here at WG? Yeah, it means a lot. Um, this wasn't this wasn't the first plan to come here. Um, I wanted to go somewhere, a different city, but um, I really love it here and I'm glad I ended up coming. And it's just nice to have the support from my family right here with me. So. Yeah, I bet being home close to home and this is the school your mom went to. So has there been any special moments that you've been able to share with her? Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, the signing, whenever I signed to play here, it was it was really nice because she she wanted me to come here. So but other than that, not really. Yeah. What has the transition from high school golf to collegiate golf been like? Um, collegiate golf is definitely much tougher. I think in high school I played five hard golf courses. I come here and every tournament that I've played has been really tough. And then the competition, I mean, every guy out there can almost win, win a tournament. Like it's it's unreal, but I, I love the competition. So. Yeah, well, you were really successful in high school and you definitely brought that here to WT. This past weekend, you were in the MSU Invitational and you were successful in making a birdie to win the Invitational. What was your mindset going into that hole? Yeah, the mindset was just give myself one more opportunity. Like the three holes before that, I gave myself good chances and the putt didn't go in, but uh, I got the last one to go in and it felt really nice, so. Yeah, which definitely that takes, it's an important thing for your mindset, not only to be good on the course, but off of it. What are some things you do to keep your mental game strong? Uh, so we go to Dudley once a week mm -hmm. and um, I think it's great going there, just letting us talk about stuff, and uh, she just gives us new ideas of ways to think and stuff. Yeah. And one of the things that stuck with me was the word next. Mm -hmm. uh, it just basically means just move on to the next hole, next shot, whatever. And I think that's helped me a lot. So. Do you think that's something you've grown in from in high school, like your mental toughness? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think it's definitely gotten better since I've been here, yeah. which is which is really good. So yeah, okay. And then this week you were recognized as the LSC Men's Golfer of the Week. What was your reaction to this? Uh, I was just super happy, um, just to know that I can do these things as a freshman. Yeah. So yeah, I was just happy to get that honor and felt really good. How has the team dynamic been this year? Uh, it's been it's been really good. Uh, I think we all have the same goal, mm -hmm. so that's that's really good. And um, every one of us, we're fighting every day, just grinding, trying to get better. And every one of us want to make it to nationals, and that's that's the goal so far. So yeah, which you're definitely showing that on the course. I was wondering, is there a professional golfer that you try to emulate? Um, I would say Justin Thomas probably. Yeah. Uh, I just, I don't know, he's a funny dude. I love his golf swing and yeah, I mean, he, he just brings the energy. So yeah. I really like him. Yeah, very cool. Well, I wish you luck on the rest of the season and thank you for joining us. Thank you. You can catch Wyatt and the rest of the Buff Golf team in action on Monday and Tuesday, April 8th and 9th at the Firekeeper Opener in Mayetta, Kansas for their last regular season tournament before they head into the Lone Star Conference Championship. The same can be said for the Lady Buff Golf team. They will take on their final regular season tournament tomorrow and Saturday, the RJGA Palm Valley Classic in Goodyear, Arizona. A lot of exciting stuff there we have a lot of exciting stuff for you this weekend here at wt if you're looking for some weekend plans we have you covered
The number one ranked uh, Lady Buff golf team and the number four ranked Buff baseball team will be in town. The Buffs are set to host Oklahoma Christian starting tomorrow at 630. They'll have a doubleheader on Saturday beginning at 4 p.m. and then we'll wrap up the series on Sunday at 1 p.m. The Lady Buffs will face off against the Lubbock Christian in a doubleheader starting on Saturday at 12 p.m. and they will put a bow on the series on Sunday at 2 p.m. Coming off of an intense weekend at the Texas Relays, the number four ranked Lady Buffs and the number 14 ranked Buff track team will spend a weekend at home competing in the Joe Meeker Classic all day Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We would love for you to come out, support, enjoy some WT athletics. Last thing before we wrap this up, the class of 2024 Hall of Champions honorees have been released. For more information on that or for anything WT Athletics, you can head over to GoBuffsGo.com or you can download our GoBuffsGo mobile app. If you can't come to any of the sporting events this weekend, don't worry, we have you covered there too. You can watch live on the Lone Star Conference digital network. If you haven't already, please go follow us on our social media pages, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Actually, it's X. It's not Twitter. <laughs> and like, subscribe, and hit the bell. We appreciate you guys tuning in. We will see you next time for a Coffee with Coaches episode. As always, thank you so much. I'm Corin Davis, and you're watching The Rundown.